Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a primary name server, DNS server for your uh, your local network here. And in a previous video I showed how to set up a caching only name server. So we're kind of going from that video and we're keeping all those configurations and then now we're just going to turn that into a primary name server for our network. So then what we're going to be able to do is I will be able to ping, just ping web serve and I'll just show you ping hold on ping web serve okay and then that's what is going to be doing instead of ping 170 hold on 72.20.0.20 okay so basically the top ping you see that it resolved to 170.20.0.20 well that's because of the uh, primary name server that we set up so that's what we're going to do. I'll walk you through some config files and uh, show you how to get it done. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go, let me just show you real quick, uh, vi uh, etsy namedconf. Okay, let's go to the end and you're going to see a couple things. See these two lines at the bottom, include etsy named rfc 1912 zones and then root key. We're going to edit, we're going to add two zones into this named rfc 1912 zones file. You could also add them into this named.conf file, but to uh, keep things a little bit cleaner, we're going to add it into that. So let's go there, and I'm going to show you what I did. I didn't, no WQ, there was nothing written, but vi etsy name drfc 1912. And if I go too fast through this, just uh, pause the video and copy what you need to copy, and then, uh, you know, add the information that's relevant for whatever you're doing. Okay, so let me just show you. This is the uh, beginning of it, and I don't know why there's not the code highlighting on this. It's been kind of, I don't know, wonky for the last couple times. But anyways, the last two I did myself, okay? So the first one is uh, zone is local net. That's the local network that I have. That's what I'm calling it. It's not a domain name, so it's not localnet.com. If you had, say you had the domain name localnet.com, well, think of everything that I do just put a dot com at the end as well so local net and then in all right type is the master and file is local net dot zone so keep that in mind that's a zone file that we're going to create and allow transfer this is going to be for a secondary name server I haven't done it yet but uh, just for future reference for me okay so this is our primary zone next one is our reverse lookup zone and it's going to be we're going to call it 0 0.20.172. It's the network address backwards. Dot in ADDR ARPA. That's just uh, how they how they do it for the reverse lookup zones. Type is going to be the master for that. And again, keep in mind that file name because we're going to create those two files, and then that's all you need to do. So there's a lot to uh, doing this uh, primary name server stuff, but if you do it a couple times, it's not that bad. So let's get out of that. And first, let's go to uh, Let's go and do that local net zone dot zone file. Where do you find those files? Where do you create your zone files? CD var name D. Let's just ls. And you can see I already have that. So let's just vi local net dot zone. And I'll walk you through this one too. There's a lot of a uh, lot of stuff here, so I didn't want to type it all out. But uh, anyways, what you notice is these uh, semicolons. Those are uh, those are basically your comments. See, local net dot zone file. Okay, the first thing you need to do, hopefully it shows up, is uh, origin, uh, dollar sign, origin in all caps. So, local net dot, okay? If you had local net dot com, it would be local net dot com dot, okay? So, what it is is uh, you're going to append this to unqualified records. This is going to allow, say, if I want to ping web serve, I'm not going to say ping web serve dot local net. I'm just going to ping web serve, and then this origin will uh, append that local net to that. Okay, time to live. That's the time to live for the record that's in seconds. That's one day. All right, now this is uh, part of the header that we're going to, we call it. So we put the at sign in SOA, start of authority, net serve dot local net dot. Okay, remember, you got to put the dot at the end of that. Net serve, this is uh, the uh, authoritative DNS server. So that's my net server machine. That's this one right here. Okay. 
So dot local net, remember dots at the end. If it was localnet.com, you would have localnet.com dot, right? This here, admin dot local net, that's just uh, like the admin at local net. So that would be like the, uh, the administrator's email address, okay? Then you go and uh, you open up some parentheses. Your serial number, this is how you track the changes on it. So 2015 one that's the date, and this is the first revision of that day. So that's why you have the 01 at the end, because you can make changes, multiple changes in a day, and uh, that's how it increments right there. Okay, six hours, this is for secondary servers. This is, they're going to refresh every six hours. 15, that's 15 seconds, it's going to retry. So if there's a request for a name and it doesn't come back in 15 seconds, it's going to retry in 15 seconds. One week, again, this is for secondary servers. Their records are going to expire in one week, so they're good for one week. Here, 3H, this is caching of negative answers. So for example, in the last one, let me go down to here. So you see this netserve2, and it's not there yet. That's why it's commented out. That's going to be my uh, failover DNS server. I don't have it right now. So the thing is, this negative answers is if I want to go ping or just try to contact netserve2, it doesn't exist on my machine yet. So it's going to cache that saying this does not, this record does not exist. It's going to cache it for three hours. So what that means is three hours it's going to come back, can't find it, can't find it. Then after three hours it'll look it up again. So if in hour four I put in netserve2, then it would find it again. Okay. So that is the header as we call it for that. Then we do a couple just comment uh, semicolons there. Now we have in Okay, this is your name server record, and then netserve.localnet dot. Remember those dots are always at the end. Okay, so that's this one that we're working on now, and I have this one. This is commented out again because I don't have it yet. But this is this would be my failover name server record, NS record, name server record. These are the uh, record names that you have right here. Okay, netserve two dot localnet dot, and then after this we're going to create two name records which is uh, a records so this is going to say netserve is the name of our machine for uh, you know query that comes into the machine into the DNS server and a record is going to map netserve to 172.20.0.2 okay and then same thing uh, this one's commented out again let me just see how that changes but uh, let me hold on let me put that back okay uh, because I don't I don't have a netserve2 yet so but this one too same thing it's an a record so it's gonna map netserve2 to 172.20.0.4 okay then next we have uh, we're gonna for a mail server we need to do an MX entry that's uh, the mail exchanger entry and you do an at sign right there in MX and you can start this is my first mail server so you just put 10 and uh, mail serve dot local net dot okay and then we specify that entry right there the a record so mail serve is going to be mapped to 170.20.0.25 and then you can see web serve file serve and auth serve they're all mapped okay so the name is on the left then you have in then a then your IP address is where it's going to map on the right okay and then down here we have uh, these are your aliases so you know www.google.com okay so this is there's I'm sure there's probably thousands of www Google servers so this is what that's going to do here it's going to map the www name so www.localnet uh, is going to map to the web server right and then wiki same thing if I go wiki wiki.localnet it's going to map and go send that traffic to web serve so in a future video I'm going to be doing a setting up a wiki on there and then same thing for the mail server there okay so this is a big file and there's a lot of stuff to do so uh, like I said just pause the video and uh, copy what you need to copy and make it relevant to you but this is the first thing that we need to do so let's quit out of that okay hold on All right. and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go and create that reverse lookup zone not necessary, but it's uh, if you're going to be working in the enterprise, it's a good habit to get into. So let's go vi0. Dot, 
and all that stuff. Okay, so it looks very similar. Uh, and a couple things, like I said, this is the comment origin here. You need to put the origin as 0.20.172-in ADDR ARPA right there. That's how your uh, reverse lookup zone, that's just how it's just uh, how it's written out. All of them are written like that. Okay, time to live again. 86,400 seconds is a day. And this header is going to be the same information, so you can copy and uh, paste from that header information from your other, uh, from the local zone dot, or local net dot zone file. Okay, right there. It's all the same stuff. But here, the difference is, we need to, because this is, this is these are pointer records, so they're going to point to, it's going to look it up, but it's going to look it up the opposite way, reverse lookup zone. So the first thing we're going to say, at, in, we need to specify our name server as netserve.localnet. Then, two, okay, so what this is, is you see the file is 0 0.20.172. Well, what two signifies is 172.20.0.2, okay? So here, two is the pointer record, PTR, to netserve. So the net, netserve IP address is 172.20.0.2. So that's what you're going to do for all of these down here. Like I said, 4 is commented out. I haven't done that yet. But 20, this would be, hold on, let me just type it out for you. Oh, I'll just do 25. Okay, this would be the IP address of 172.20.0.25. Okay, and then, you know, 25, 30, 35. So that's the significance of those numbers right there. And remember, periods. You need periods at the end. If it was localnet.com, it would be localnet.com with another period after that. So just keep that in mind. And that is it for this zone. So let's just exit out of that. Okay. So now let's say that you made those changes. You're good to go with those. So let's go and go service name D restart. Give it a second, it'll do its thing. So what's going to happen is if you made a mistake in either of the files that we changed, you would have, it wouldn't start, like NameD wouldn't start and it'd give you a couple uh, little output like it couldn't do this or couldn't do that. So that's when you go back into your files, what you changed, look and see if you made any mistakes and then change it. But we're good there. So now we have our authoritative uh, primary name server. So let's test that out. Let's go ping web serve. All right, well, there you go. If you look, uh, it resolved the web serve to 172.20.0.20. Okay, let's go mail serve because that's up too. So let's go ping mail serve. Whoop. See, unknown host mail serve. Now what's going to happen there, actually it's good that I made that mistake. That's going to be cached for three hours as unknown host. So it just come back automatically. After three hours, it would try to resolve it again. That is the, uh, that's the uh, caching of negative answers. Uh, that's what that's all about. So say you tomorrow you put in a server mail serv well then it would resolve it again so that was that uh, uh, the caching of negative answers but let's go ping mail serve okay that resolved it to 172.20.0.25 let's just double check on the web serve and mail serve we'll just do one ping each so ping mail serve and that's working that resolved and let's go ping web serve and that's working too. Let's just triple check. So ping net serve. And there you go. So you can see here all these things, they're all resolving now. They're resolving the host names. No need for IP addresses after this point. Because what we're doing is we're specifying the IP addresses in those zone files that we created. So uh, you can just see these are kind of changing and doing their own thing. But uh, that's it. And uh, right now you're, I mean, like you can see right there mailserve.localnet. So uh, that local net, we didn't, let me uh, get out of that. Ping, where are we at? Mailserve. Let's just do net serve. Okay, we didn't say dot local net. We can, but we don't have to. You see that? That's the origin, uh, dollar sign origin command, because that appends local net to everything. So, uh, so that's uh, that's the primary name server, and it's uh, it's working on this network. And uh, like I said, follow these couple things, and it can be working for you too. 
So that's all I had for this video, and uh, stay tuned for future videos.